Hello all you beautiful people, welcome back to Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Last time we uh, met with the Wild Hunt and beat them back from Kaer Morhen. And... Zirel can harness immense amounts of the power. Why has no one taught her to control this? Actually, some did <laughs> teach her. Clearly to no effect. I'll gladly argue with you about this. Some other time. Haven't had a chance to talk. Thanks for your help, and for looking after Ciri. You will thank me later. Now we must take Cyril from here, Haida, and then gather a greater force. Anyone, everyone we could count on came here to care more. Yeah. Which is why we must seek the help of enemies. Magic is our best defense against the hunt. We need sorceresses, arch mistresses of magic. You mean the lodge? I mean, we got some of the lodge here. But they're in shambles. Many of the Lodge's members are dead. The rest are in hiding. Philippa Eilhart, Margarita Loantil, and Fringilla Vigo are likely still alive. And Francesca and Ida? Think they'd agree? I think they'll take convincing. Would you rather speak to Kira alone? That would probably be best. Kira Metz is here, though. But we don't really have a choice. Don't trust the Lodge one bit. It doesn't seem like we have a choice. Because we don't. I've made an agreement with the Emperor. In exchange for its help, the Lodge will be granted amnesty and find asylum in Nilfgaard. That will be our bargaining chip. Uh. Triss, I wish to leave today to find the sorceresses. Will you help me? Of course. Even got an idea where you could start. Damn it! Again you planned without even asking what I think. I've had enough of this. I won't be taken somewhere like a bundle. I will not sit and twiddle my thumbs. I am sick of waiting, sick of hiding. All right, fine, you're right. You're right. Prove today you can take care of yourself. Easier to pat someone on the back and hope things will work out than it is to face the truth. Zirel possesses a great power she cannot control. She is a danger to herself, to others. Until she learns to control it, she should remain isolated. Wow. First of all, bollocks. Second, if you're going to speak of courage, at least address me directly, and not through Geralt. I'm gone. Good job. You scared her off. Better go after her. Wait, she needs time. We must let her resolve her grief on her own. Then we should start training as soon as possible. She must learn to control her abilities. This training really necessary. Are you gonna do it? You saw what happened. She could be a greater threat than the hunt. Fine. We'll stay here a while longer, then join you and Triss in Novigrad. Meet at Dandelion's Inn. Come on, Yen. The sooner we leave, the better. See ya. Dang, 27 already. And we just hit 26 last episode. <laughs> that was an experience. Well, wow. okay. Sharpening your sword, just like always. It's not working, don't you see? Discouraged after a mere eight attempts? See you there. How many times must I try? As many as it takes. But I'm not getting anywhere. We shall return to this later. <laughs> After a bit of a talk. Didn't make it far first time out on the gauntlet either. Geralt, please, not now. By comparison, the gauntlet was a walk in the park. But that's not the point. What is? Avalar says nothing will come of this until I stop thinking about the battle. But at the moment, I find it impossible to fill my head with kittens and vanilla pudding. Tell me, how do you do it? What? Always manage to pull yourself together. Focus. No matter what's happening. 
Hmm. You don't have to be good at everything. Hmm. Don't know about vanilla pudding. Could work. But nothing picks me up like Lambert's famous homebrew. Suppose it can't kill me. Might as well try. A few hours later of drinking. <laughs> Cat with a bird. Okay. Strong. Yeah. Maybe you want to try a different method. We've tried at least 20. Wouldn't let it worry you. Not like you need to excel at everything. You're great with a sword, an excellent archer. Leave the magic to mages. Yeah. Pull me another. <laughs> Drunk Geralt. is a skunk. Geralt! Wake up! Why what? are you waking me? What? What's happening? Get up. You must go. I've saddled the Why horses. Why are you leaving? Siri, it's the crack of dawn. Where do you want to go? To Velen. Bald Mountain. But a few days till the Witch's Sabbath. And guess who's the guest of honor? Who? Uh, enlighten me. Don't know. Enlighten me. Imlarith. We'll have no better chance to get him. Where'd you get this idea? What's gotten into you? I must avenge Vesemir. Oh, this is a terrible Sabbath. idea. It's the perfect opportunity. Imlarith will be drunk among his cohorts. Caught up in the revelry. He'll not expect the blow. Hmm. What's Avalok say? Why do I doubt Avalok's a fan of this idea? You didn't tell him. Do you see him here? I left him a letter. We'll rejoin him in no a terrible idea. Come. Terrible. We shall talk on the way. Gotta visit the Emperor first. Wait. Something I gotta tell you before we go. You know, the Emperor really wanted you found. Yennefer mentioned something. Wanted you to visit him. Why would you tell me now? Because this could be your last chance to see your father. Think I should go? You gotta make your own decision. Ought to decide for yourself. But I want your opinion. Should I go or not? Really? Uh, yeah, you should. Probably just wants to talk. How can you be sure? What if he wants something more? Promised me he wouldn't force you to do anything. So I should go? He is your father. Azima is on the way. I suppose we can drop in. I'm sure this will be a fun conversation. Ready? Let's is that go. an option? <laughs> After the Battle of Kaer Morhen, the defenders licked their wounds and mourned their losses, save Ciri, who began to plan her revenge. She woke Geralt one night and urged him to travel with her to Velen, to the top of Bald Mountain, where she knew she'd find Imlarith. She had decided he had to die. One week later. <laughs> All right, let's see how this conversation is gonna go. Your Imperial Majesty, Geralt of Rivia, Geralt and Cyrilla Fiona Ellen Rhiannon. 
Queen of Sintra, Princess of Bruges, and Duchess of Sutton. Heiress to Innes Ard Skellig and Innes Ann Skellig, and suzerain of Atra and Abiara. Get used to it. Before long, every soul from Nilfgaard to the Dragon Mountains will kneel before you. I did not expect you to keep your word, Witcher. We're here thanks to Siri. Siri wanted to hear what you have to say. And she will. Your reward. I didn't do this for the coin. Didn't come to collect on a deal. You asked me to bring your daughter here, and I did just that. Siri will hear you out, then we leave. Are you sure? Never again would you need to stalk monsters while wading through sewage. I'm sure. I understand. Honor prevents you from accepting coin. In that case, a stallion, a thoroughbred milf guardian, awaits you in the stables. Treat it as an expression of my gratitude. Thank you. Now forgive me. I wish to speak to my daughter. Follow me, sir. White Wolf, good to see you. Oh. Greetings, General. You had no you trouble crossing the Ponta, I trust. None. I take it you crossed via the ford near Van Gleen? It's fortunate you did not choose to ride through Rhind, a troubled region still. Radovid seeks to breach the front in the west. But he'll not succeed. Not before the princess becomes empress and we bring order to the area. I can't be sure Siri will agree to that. Siri hasn't agreed to that yet. Yes, of course, she's tactful, not one to celebrate an offer not yet made. But this is not the kind of offer one refuses. Isn't it? Isn't it? Do you know any who would not like to be Emperor of Nilfgaard? Can you imagine? I thought only the wine-addled minds of bards and poets could give birth to such stories. The prodigal daughter of the most powerful ruler in the continent's history returns on the eve of his final triumph to embrace her inheritance. <laughs> Simpletons adore such stories as they do the princesses, ever beautiful and delicate father. Geralt, we're leaving. Hold so. <laughs> so nice to see you, my lady. Likewise. Time we were on our way. A shame you can't stay. I hope to continue this on another occasion. That makes one of us. <laughs> well? If he thinks he can buy me, he is sorely mistaken. Good. He offer anything specific? Yes, very specific. And thoroughly absurd. Sorry, I don't want to talk about it. Not now, at least. Won't pressure you. When you're ready, let's go. Hmm... Interesting. I really don't think this mission is going to go how Siri plans it, but you can hope. Uh, Bald Mountain. Wow, that water looks super green. The men at Crow's Perch, they spoke of this place. Ard Serbin, 
home of the ladies of the wood. The peasants feared coming here, and the barons thought the ladies of the wood a terrifying tale for naughty children. Incidentally, I wonder how the baron is. Dead. Hanged himself after his wife died. Daughter's in Novigrad. A true shame. Yeah. Are you familiar with this place? You actually know this area? Centuries ago, it was a hallowed site for druids. But then the crones arrived, destroyed the Velen Circle, and deformed the sacred oak atop the mountain. Mm. An important feast is observed here annually. The Sabbath, they call it. All the local folk attend. I suspect Imlareth attends too, as the crone's guest. Seem to know it well. Havelock's a good tutor. Hmm. How do you know he's gonna be here? We stand to find Imlareth here? You sure? Avalok told me of beings who commune with the NL Elves. They can be found in every part of our world. In Velen, the crones do this. Apparently, Imlareth came here at Eredin's behest to order the crones to keep their eyes open and ears pricked. In case Avalok were to seek shelter in his Velen hideout. Took the order literally judging by all the ears hanging in the woods. Think Imlareth might still be here? He craves the pleasures of the flesh, wine, sex. The crones indulge him, flatter his ego. I'm certain he'd not let this opportunity pass, and we'll be on Bull Mountain for the Sabbath. Alright, let's go. Let's get this done. We must reach the peak. We'll find Imlareth there. The peasant folk of Velen call this night the Feast of Loads Deep. of footprints. No How the peasants why. came through here. Oh wow, yeah, that's a load of footprints. Avalach claims vanity is Imlareth's greatest weakness. Vanity? Any foe he faces, he strives to impress. The other one, Caranthir, is said to be secretive and pragmatic. Hardly surprising, given he was Avalach's student. Why is she so much faster than me? Once served. Yeah, I double crossed her. Let them approach. But they've come for the feast. Wouldn't do to cast them out. Didn't come to celebrate. We need to get to the top of the mountain. The gate is shut. You'll not pass. But we fire us down that away with food and drink and plenty. Sit down beside one, and perhaps this year the ladies will descend. Give us the privilege of seeing them. Mm. All right, fine. We thank you for the invitation. Be glad to sit down, right? Speak for yourself. Come with me. Speak for yourself. Why can't we get past the gate? Mentioned a gate. Said we wouldn't pass. Only the chosen visit the ladies. Every year, young lads and lasses climb the mount, but never more than three. Let me guess. The young lads and lasses don't return. No, they return happy and radiant. But rare is the one who then stays in Velen. Off they go to seek fortune in the wider world. Oh. Ladies of the wood visit you? If they favor us. My father told me they descended once. Passed from fire to fire, listening to hopes and grievances. So each year, we wait for them to walk amongst us once more. Haven't done it in a long time then. No point waiting to see if we'll get lucky. Yeah, we gotta try to reach the peak. Hmm, what's the feast celebrate? This celebration, what's it about? What do you need to know, Wanderer? No need for anger. The White Ones serve the ladies as we do now. We send them gifts all year long. And on this night, they repay us with their do blessing. They? I met one of your gifts to the crones. Snivelling. 
scared to death and about eight years old. Stay calm. Said the ladies bestow blessings on you. Aye, for our lives turn thus. First a summer of labor neath the hot sun, then autumn rains, then a winter of death. Then we await spring, when all that is dead is born anew. And from our blood and sweat, the oak bears acorns, at times few, at times a handful. What do you do with the acorns? The Velen elders gather, hold council. Some favor grinding them to spread on the fields for a rich harvest. Others want them given to a cunning woman who'd make medicine for consumption. A handful of enchanted acorns is enough for all Velen. <laughs> Is never enough. Why do the ladies need children? Your children. Why do the ladies need them? We know not and never ask. You don't know? Then let me tell you. Tell us instead what a peasant, his own young and starving, is to do with a wandering war orphan. You're not from here. Don't judge us by others' laws. <laughs> Alright, changing topics. Heard enough about this. We've got other questions. We should go. We should be going. Eager to see the ladies. I share your yearning. We're afire with yearning. Come, Geralt. We must get there before daybreak. Go to the tent and stand before Thecla. She's the one who decides who's worthy to face the ladies. All right, all right. Look, oh, child. Great. No, a godling. I know him. Name's Johnny. Ah, uh, Johnny. Well, old B, you're back. Uh, and I see you found your lass. I'm Johnny. We've had the pleasure already. A bit one-sided, though, it was. See, I saw you running. You're back to me. As I was <laughs> having the pleasure of... Oh, tis a long story. They call me Siri. Nice to meet you. How are things, Johnny? Health's good, so no complaints. What brings you here? Hmm, looking for the path to the summit. We gotta climb the mountain. Can you help? I'd rather try to dissuade you, but I'm certain that would be in vain. The lass, she is stubborn as yes. you. Yes. Even more so. Figured as much. Oh. Path to the peak starts there, past the gate. But only old Thecla's got the key, so since you shan't ever get it, you best turn back now. Can't do that. Gotta get to the summit. Simple as that. It's Thecla you'll need to convince. She's blind as your bum, but she won't be fooled. We shan't try to trick her. She sits in that tent over yonder. I wish you luck, and do hope we meet again, someday. <laughs> Moons are rising, owls are just... Alright, there's a traitor. Nana Yi is worthy. It's clearing up. Mm, who's that? Well, come on, come closer, girl. Aye, what's she like? Narrow hips, sparkly eyes, a striking feisty lass. Never had a man. Never mind. Got me answer. I choose you, girl. This night you shall see the ladies. What do you think? Siri. Wonderful. Who wouldn't want to meet the ladies? My companion comes with me. Hmm. <laughs> What else has the cat dragged in? It's grey and veiny, got a scar, and eyes like a viper. 
Aye. Stinks of clotted blood and corpses. Plus it's old and infertile. I reject ye, freak. The girl will ascend alone. Not happening. I'm going with her. <laughs> He's fire in his gut. What do you say? He's determined. He loves the girl, but he seeks to hide it from us. Perhaps I was mistaken. Perhaps there's life in him yet. By ancient right, you may appeal my choice. But to do so, you must best the challenge. What's the challenge? What kind of challenge? Tell him. You must descend into the cave and bathe in the waters below the earth. What's the catch? The water's deep. The water's murky. Oh. I'll take your challenge. I accept the challenge. <laughs> Come. Oh, that, that's a long drop. Look this over. A coin from days of yore. Falker burns on its reverse, so they call it the Defier's Aura. Oh. Now, bring me the coin. Really? That's your challenge? Okay. Um, we need... Oh, Fubar. I didn't equip. Surprisingly, they don't do a lot of damage, but... Okay, I'm gonna make it. What? Really? back on our path. Drink some more water. Regain our health. <laughs> that thing. It was a good thrashing. No. I was beginning to worry. Come, let's get They're forward. back. What do you want? What's on the peak? Can't help but be curious. What's at the summit? Tell him. The ladies dwell there, but only the Chosen may look upon them. I know that. I want. You'll learn nothing else here. Fine. Got that coin you tossed in the lake. It reeks of sludge. Nothing I can do about that. So, gonna keep your word? I always do, my boy. Show the coin to the gatekeeper past the threshold. He'll know its meaning. Marika will open the gate for you. Now go. Gotcha, the old woman. That went smoothly. Weren't the one to do the diving in that cave. Stop. Ah, You're a witcher. You died in murky waters. Yeah, I have to tell you about the time I hunted a zugal. A zugal? All 
Alright, where is the gate? We're over here. Aha. Uh -huh. Hey? Does it ah. <laughs> It says it block it was locked. Okay, well I'll take some mushrooms. What's your name, girl? What's yours? <clears throat> your name don't matter. Atop the peak, you'll lose it and get another. You may go. And you? Pass the trial. I passed the trial. Here's proof. Recognize it? The Defiers, Oren. A death sentence. No time to lose. I'll tend to Imlirith, you take the crones. Avalark said they dwell below the oak, among its roots. No chance. I'm going after Imlirith. <sighs> Fine, let's play for it. Rock, paper, really? scissors. I guess I win. She wins. I win. Damn it! <laughs> Two out of three! Fate has decided. Out of the question. I'll climb the mountain, you face the crones. Hardly a challenge. We say that. They're extremely dangerous. Be careful. Oh, I should have cha chose the other option, because I really want to kill the crone myself. Oh well. I must get down there. Oh, I guess I do get to kill the crones. As Siri. Uh, oh hell. I guess I must jump. <laughs> okay. Well, actually. Oh, I don't actually see anything down here. Oh, that's a shame. Bloody roots. Disturbing. Yum, yum. Oh, boy.
Duncan, child of the Elder Blood. We knew you would return. Your taste lingers on our tongues. Mm. You've talked enough. <laughs> One dead. <laughs> <laughs> you will die. You die. It's two down. And that's three of them. They were too tough. One actually survived. Damn it. Then we're at Santa's summit. Gotta be. Alright, well. Hmm. I see a question mark. Medallion's humming. Place of power. Mm, it's gotta how do be. I get up there though? Oh. Across the bridge. Take the ability point, and I'll be on my way. Satyrs. Yeah, you better run. He's like, get lost. Sisters said you would come. They saw you arrive in the water's surface. I'm sure they did. They did not see the girl. But she is with you, is she not? I came alone. I'm here alone. A lie which will change nothing. Okay, fine enough. Okay, what do we have? We have Igni. Oh!
Okay. Change tactics. <laughs> that works a lot better. Oh. Really? to fight like this. The Witcher you slew. <laughs> Ow! Yeah, I bet you regret that now, don't you? Now you ugly. Yes! Use his own weapon against him. Nice. Hey, she's still there. Sweet. We did it. Barely. How'd it go down there? I slew only two of the crones. The third fled with Vesemir's medallion. My song memento. You avenged him. You avenged Vesemir. Avalarch claims vengeance is only ever satisfying when served cold. He's wrong. Now to find Eredin and kill him. Easier said than done. An Orin for your thoughts? Wondering what to tell Yennefer when we get to Novigrad. <laughs> tell her the truth. Always. I wonder if Triss and Yennefer have found the sorceresses of the Lodge. We ought to rejoin them. Uh, not quite. Give me a minute. I'm old. <laughs> no <I'm> rest. <laughs> hmm. You are, and you do. Let's stay a bit longer. Alright, I think that's it for this episode of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. If you want to see more, you better like, subscribe, and stick around. I'll have more for you soon. Alright, bye.